What's up, man? Hopefully my program doesn't crash again. Are you ready? Give me something to laugh about that's what I'm asking for. Give me a gift for the last. Or really anything naughty dog. Now y'all can have factions. I don't care about factions. I want DLC. I want more single player content. All I want. I want to play with my girls again. Or I, I would love to see some more Horizon footage. Oh, can't get enough of that, really. But I mean, like everybody's been hyping this thing up, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping it is for good reason. I mean, I have no doubt, but at the same time, I'm still hoping. Go. Capture on PS5. Five gameplay, that's even crazier than I thought. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Saint Bro when it used to be good. <laughs> I mean, it could have been captured on PS5, you never know. They got the best graphics ever. Some dynamic ass stuff.
I mean, it feels it, it feels like it's a call a call back to the Saints Row. Chester. Hey, Alex. Crazy. That's their new. I'm guessing their new ad. Interesting ad, but let's just get to the important stuff. I'm Jim Ryan, President and CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment, and welcome to the PlayStation Showcase. At PlayStation, we believe in pushing boundaries and setting the benchmark for creativity and excellence in entertainment. Yes, they do. We always love the opportunity to speak directly with our community. The new technology in PS5 enables development teams to build more exciting, okay. immersive, and compelling worlds, showcasing their creative vision as storytellers. We've We're never been more grateful for the PlayStation community. So thank you for allowing us time to share some significant updates and brand new content. So without further ado, Let's look at some new and amazing games. Ho ho ho! What you got for me? What you got? What you got? Lucas! Peace is a lie. That is what the Sith leave. Oh lord, the Star Wars game? They promise power. Now they wield it. We face the greatest Sith in generations. They must be stopped. I hope it is open world. Oh, hype! That that shit got me hype. They can show anything else now. That that shit got me hype. Oh wow. Oh, 
아직 기다리고 있는 거야. 이분 조심해. 전방에서 뭔가. 오. 본 무너지겠어. Give me devil may cry vibe. 
it, it is. So let me get this straight. I'm somewhere that's not what I would call Earth. I'm seeing freaking dragons, and oh. yeah, I'm talking to a cop. Did I just do that? <laughs> I just moved it with my freaking mind. <laughs> yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do magic, kill jacked up beasts. I'll probably fly next. Now you're just being ridiculous. Oh, that's too far. Good to know there was a line. I need to fix uh, the film for that. You are the only hope we have. You're special. You're the one that's planning on facing off with Sila. Tanta Sila is the strongest and most formidable of all the Tantas. You will be doing our land a great service by killing her. Yo, traversing in this game is gonna be a fuck. Ah. Yeah, I cannot wait for this game. Is it still 2022 though? Frey, no name no for a demon. demon. I am the one you seek, the no one, one and only Tanta Sila. Is that that? Got it. Spring? Okay, now we got spring. It was 2022 before, now we have spring. I like that. I like that. For decades, Team Rainbow has been the shield. Rainbow. The worst global threats imaginable. Hostage situations. Biological weapons. The threat of nuclear war. But now, we face the greatest terror our world has ever known. How is that New York? Ah. Oh. Eh. Of course female leads a life. Forever and ever. I mean, nine times out of ten, if a game has a female lead, I'll play it. No matter what it is, I'll play it. The so party only thing I'm not is one. We will think as one. We will do I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm over that whole D being a fucking What the hell? What kind of sound was that? <laughs> What? What? I don't even know what to think of Tom Clancy anymore. Like, it, they're just dead. So all those games are dead, you know? Fuck it. Until we get an actual Splinter Cell game, Tom Clancy's dead. Epic Games. Remedy. Hello, Remedy. Alan Wake! Welcome to greatness! Don't go out in the dark. Stay in the light. The Deer Fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist, no less. Alice? Alice? Mm -hmm. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. Last night I woke up to a nightmare. I was missing a week. What had happened to me? 
I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it. With it, I could save myself. I could save Alice. It looks good. Carl Stucky, pleased to meet you. I would definitely stream this. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Now we'll finally play Alan Wake. October 5th? Got it. Got it. Grab the photo! About fucking time! Hello, Franklin. Hey, what is this? I want to know the expanded shit. What? What is that? Come on. I got it. Hey, it seems like. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Go on. Let's go. Oh. I gotta run now. Okay. Alright, bye, bitch. Come on, it's lonely up here. Doing all this for Fab and I've been here for like eight years. What is much more, Rockstar? What is more? I will always say DJ online. Oh, now I got pushed. Uh, I got pushed. So it's not coming out this year. Anymore. Alright. Is it Ghostwire Tokyo? Yeah, Ghostwire Tokyo. I have no interest in this game, but I'll definitely like watch. Shut up, Beth. Not more cars for me to crash. No idea what the thing I is. will be her salvation. <laughs> the time is nigh. The world rests on the precipice of transformation. It's like Persona on crack. Will dawn. Transition. <laughs> it doesn't even look scary, it just doesn't look interesting. Really. At least not not in my wheelhouse. Marvel. Mm. Guardian oh. of the galaxy. You came here seeking truth. A choice. The matriarch wishes to okay. share it with you. It's something with the gameplay on it. Because I didn't like United the in the light of belief. All suffering, all grief will end. Oh. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Oh, I think... Yeah, I'm, I think I'm having a heart attack. Cease this at once. Uh, fine. Cosmo! How you doing, buddy? Grand Unifier Acre, leader of... Is that a dog in a space suit? I've seen that ritual with the priests. They kept talking about a promise. It was like they were drinking funky juice or something. 
Or join the cult. So let us investigate for you. Always catch Peter Quill. Yeah. And not fun kind with bull. Hey, world mind. Long time no see. The current probability of defeating the universe no for the win. is 0.3%. Is that bad? It sounds bad. It is. I hope you've got one hell of a speech plan, Peter. That makes two of us. Follow me! By rejecting the promise, like the presentations, the voice acting, performances, that stuff looks looks good. The actual gameplay, now that's gonna look good. That was completely intentional. The Milano's on her way. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Is that black over open? Yeah, nah, they need that gameplay and overhaul. That's not what I thought it was. <laughs> it's something multiplayer. It's already lost my interest. Okay, there's vampires. Has <laughs> But still multiplayer, so it's that nice with the Oh, vampire. That, I, that got pushed back to 2022, I guess. Something. That, that, that's something, that's not, that's something different. That's not the thing I'm thinking of. Welcome to the Eon Program. Picture your perfect you. Your health, your enlightenment, your fashion. Not just freedom, we need for your esteemed vision will be the only thing missing from Black Eyes. Come on now. The Visionaries. Eight geniuses who painted up a prison and named it Freedom. Y'all gotta know what time it is. One repeating day, their eternity. An endless party that you can never leave. I am a storm. Place is supposed to be on They give me thing way too much for the space down science nerds. Brainwashed cultists flinging bombs. Whatever these guys are doing. All spewing eons bullshit. <gasps> so how come I don't remember shit? This party island hangover is none my thing. My thing is answers. Who are these people? What do they want with me? And why is she always one step ahead? Come on, Colt. You gotta put this together. Somebody built this place. Somebody's sending me these messages from the future, the past, whenever. And some jackass wrecked every plane out here. Is this a contest for them? Some type of experiment? How does this time loop work? Does anybody Why remember? Why is everyone wearing a mask? <laughs> what the hell is Black Man's notes anymore? Who am I? Colt, I want you to remember. I want you to remember why you came here. Huh. Is that... Damn, I look good. I've imagined myself a way out. 
I could have literally just shown like a few seconds of this and I would have been so more enough. Gonna break this time loop before it breaks me. I can't wait till it's out so that we can stop seeing advertisements for it. I'm so tired of this game. I have no idea what that was. <laughs> it looked trippy as hell though. No idea what the hell that was though. Like a Pixar game. Oh, Pixar movie as a game. Yeah, I know. It is young as old. It could be an age. I can see Rosa Vinna. The picture is trippy. Oh, that's cute. I'll never play it, but it looks cute. Okay, now get I'm interesting. What? Hold up! Treasure of all time is within our grasp. Hold up! Hello. Now that's not an easy fight. Yes! 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 Last I checked, we're all about Hello. Digging around we shouldn't. Hang on. Hang on. Oh crap! Pick the FPS, man. <laughs> Damn, man, I just beat this game this year. I should have waited. <laughs> no date on that? Do I have a date on that? Give me a date on that. I'm Herman Hulst, head of PlayStation Studios. What's up, bro? PlayStation Studios, at its heart, is a diverse and passionate group of storytellers at our collective of AAA studios all across the globe. 
Everything we do is driven and inspired by storytelling. As creators, PlayStation 5 gives us the opportunity to push the boundaries of storytelling even further. Our world-class development teams at PlayStation Studios have already delivered such incredible gaming experiences for PS5, and we're only just getting started. As you'll see today with the lineup of exclusive games coming for PlayStation Studios, we're going to continue to drive innovation, advance gaming, while always embracing the legacy of PlayStation, and creating games that matter. Games that you're not going to find anywhere else. Enjoy. I felt like something that should have been at the, the beginning of the presentation, but okay. Oh, hello, Insomniac. Hello, Marvel and Insomniac. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Was that only the prologue? Oh, fuck it. Yes! Okay, what else you got? Yo, Wolverine game! That's it. Alright, I'm hyped. I'm hyped! Gran Turismo! Are we gonna get a, a date on this one? God damn it. Turismo! Only racing game I've ever really loved like that. Aside from Midnight Club. Mm! I'm sorry. No other racing game can touch this. Look how gorgeous this fucking game is. Jesus. Jesus, Gran Turismo. All day. All day, every day. Woo! Oh, my dad is going to lose his shit. Hey, hey. Hello. Oh, that looks gorgeous. God, that looks beautiful as all hell. What you got? Greenwich. That's home. For as long as I can remember, I have That's looked for an equal. New York. One who could. Yeah! One who 
Oh yo, I will do co-op. I will do co-op for this. Oh shit. Will one of you finally give me what I desire? Yo. I'm good. Thank you. Me and that. Oh God. Yes. Yes. Oh, that was like icing on a cake. Oh. My boy Miles is back. Peter Cool, but I'm here for Miles. Oh, there you guys go. Running out. The prophecies say Fimble Winter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. Kill the whiny little bitch. I don't want to ah, Freya. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard, maybe that's what Mother wants. We do not know what Mother wanted. Well, I recognize that dour expression anywhere. Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. What if there was someone who could help us? You mean Tyr, the old god of war in these lands, who is dead? Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. If he's out there, we gotta find him. Come in. What in all <laughs> yards be the happen to him? We're trying to stop Ragnarok to help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? War is not the only way. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No. You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Are you a calm and reasonable person? In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Is it? Let it serve you. Here. Are you cooking with us? I guess now it is officially called God of War Ragnarok. <laughs> well, some of them. Well, Frey is the only thing that remotely interested in, interests me in that. I don't care about God of War. Wait, did it end and start over again? <laughs> wait, wait, did the did the thing end and start over again?
They got MF on this shit! Oh, yes. Yes, thank you, NF! Give me more reasons to love Coach Let's put on the load. No rollies. I'm going around no rollies. I'm a boy. I read it. Well, I recognize that dull expression anywhere. And that was the PlayStation Showcase. We've got more info and updates coming right now. And I'm, in fact, joined by no less than PlayStation Studios head Herman Hulse. Hello. Uh, Herman, really strong showing here from PlayStation Studios tonight. Hell yeah. Including an awesome new look at GT7 and, finally, a release date. GT7 is coming in March, and I don't think fans are going to be disappointed. Oh, okay. Yamauchi Sun and Polyphony have been working on them. What we're doing with GT7 is we're pulling from the entire history of the franchise, taking some of the best features into GT7. GT campaign, arcade missions, all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, I got a chance to play and it just looks and plays sensationally. The haptics, the vibrations, yeah. you feel the rolls, the pull and the weight of the, of the different cars. I'll tell you, the one thing that I personally really, really liked is the braking variations through the adaptive triggers that really kind of makes you, it makes you feel like you're an incredible racer. And for me, that's great. Great to hear that about GT7. I can't wait to play that. But I also really wanted to talk about Insomniac. I mean, this is a Insomniac, the best the fucking purchase year, in the world. Marvel Spider Man, Miles Morales, Ratchet and Clank, A Rift Apart. And now two big reveals tonight in the form of Marvel's Spider Man 2 and Marvel's Wolverine. Yo. It's Kind of a shock. the fucking read, man. Insom, Herman. So <laughs> what can you tell us about just why uh, Insom gets so fired up about the Marvel universe? I mean, this so weapon has everything Marvel. Fire, nobody, nobody else. Productive. Yeah. I think the team in Insomniac, they're really always challenging themselves to raise the bar with their approach to storytelling and, and craftsmanship. And it's really evident in the consistently high quality of games that they've been delivering over the years. I think on top of that, they really, really prize collaboration amongst their team. And that collaboration that, that also extends to the, to, to the way that they work with other PlayStation teams, but also their work with their great partners at Marvel. And that collaboration resulted in the amazing first two Marvel Spider-Man games. Mario! I know that Insomniac are extremely I can't wait to get my boy back. ...further expanding the universe into Marvel Spider-Man And Venom! And they're also going to be really oh, more again, you know, in terms of immersion, action, visual fidelity. I think Marvel Spider-Man 2 will be a spectacular showpiece for gaming. And yeah, I know, the montage thing is kind of weird to do at the end. An emotional and a suspenseful journey into Marvel's Wolverine. I think that PlayStation fans are really going to be in for a treat over the next few years. Very cool, very exciting times, and, and, and on multiple fronts. Tonight, we also got our first big look at God of War Ragnarok. Herman, what can you tell us about where Santa Monica Studio is going with this one? You know, like many of the fans, I'm personally really, really invested in the relationship between Kratos and Atreus. We got to see in the trailer that there's some real tension brewing between them as Ragnarok approaches. So, you know, I can't wait for players to see how that relationship between them evolves. And, you gotta trust me when I say that Santa Monica Studio have prepared quite a few twists and turns for players as they set up the finale of the Norse saga in God of War Ragnarok. We're gonna get an update on God of War Ragnarok from Santa Monica Studio here in just a moment. But before you go, Herman, want to get your take on Horizon Forbidden West. Now we've yes, that come on, that's what I want to know about. I am sure that by this point you have played it. So what has jumped out to you? What can you tell us about the game? I've had a chance to play the game on, on PS4 and PS5, and it looks great on both. For, for PS5, the level of detail on Aloy, her kids, the lighting, it's just exceptional. 
even more amazing because the environments have so much going on too. From the ruins of San Francisco to those new underwater areas, everything just looks breathtaking. And it loads really fast because of the SSD. Plus, the combat in the game offers so much variety. It's all based on player choice. There's so many cool weapons and tools. And when you combine these together, that comes in really handy uh, when you're dealing with the new machines. On PS5, the haptic feedback on the controller, I think, in my mind, really adds to the experience, you know, when you're firing arrows and... and, and oh, I can't arrow. wait to play this game! Hey, gorilla, I know them so well. cannot I'm come soon enough! Them. They're creating something incredibly special. And I just can't wait for gamers to get the next chapter of Aloy's adventure in their hands. Thanks for the update, Herman. We're joined now by Eric and Corey from Santa Monica Studio. And I wanted to check in with you two on the big announce we saw just a few minutes ago, God of War Ragnarok. We finally got our first big look at it. And actually, Eric, I wanted to start with you. You've been involved with every single God of War, including 2018's God of War, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct, Sid. I've been with the studio since uh, 2004 uh, in many different capacities, working with both Santa Monica and Randy at Dawn on the God of War franchise. And uh, I don't know why, but they thought it'd be a good idea to say, hey, do you want to direct this one? And so that's what I'm doing. I'm directing God of War Ragnarok, or as Corey likes to call it, never heard of it. Um, so that's <laughs> the update on that. So Eric, uh, how did you the leadership on God of War Ragnarok? Um, it's always been a tradition here at Santa Monica to change the directors across the games. You know, we've had really good success with that. I, I, Corey's been the only repeat director, and you know, rightfully so. He's pretty damn good at what he does. So that's kind of what it is. The important thing for us is to be able to kind of get a fresh perspective each time, uh, but also, you know, a fresh pair of legs in the sense that you're really exhausted at the end of finishing one of these things. So you got to con somebody else into doing it, like him. So, you know, what aesthetics or themes sort of resonate with you as a creative? I mean, I, I guess what I'm getting at is, like, how, how do you see yourself leaving your fingerprints on God of War Ragnarok? It's kind of, the designer in me wants to answer one way, but as a director, you have to answer a different way. I think you have to learn how to jettison your own a profession when you, when you switch over to the director's role, which I'm sure Corey can uh, understand. I mean, he kind of animated a little bit on God of War 2, and we kind of had to throw it all out, except for that sneaky backflip that Kratos has never done again that we left in. That's the perk of being the director, I guess. Um, but, you know, from my point of view, like, we want to tell a very heartfelt and epic story. Yeah, but the gameplay looks like it's still the same. Go on a journey, and they, they kind of struggle with holding on. I know, yeah. Yawn on the bottom of stuff, I don't care. You know, it's a very difficult kind of human it's condition to deal with. All the things uh, I didn't like about you it. kind of want to arrive at that by taking, like, slices of life or family, you know, drama, if you will, and kind of juxtapose that against big Norse backdrop. And, you know, at the end, we just want to have an ending that feels very, you know, surprising yet inevitable based on all those things. But it's, it's kind of, you know, I'm from the Midwest, so, like, slice of life, very common, mundane things are just as interesting as big world events. And so we try to collide those things together, it's, you know, make an experience that's very worthy of the God of War name. So with the game officially being called God of War Ragnarok, um, I guess it, it doesn't take a genius to think that perhaps Ragnarok factors into this game in some manner. Can, can you confirm that, Eric? Yeah, I mean, you can't call the game God of War Ragnarok and not have Ragnarok happen in the game. So, you know, it's, it's going to happen. We're going to cap off the Norse series with it. Um, and I think Chris Judge said it best in the announced trailer last year. Prepare yourselves. The last game ended with a teaser of sorts for Thor. And I just got to know, was that Thor's voice we heard in the trailer just a few minutes ago? That was definitely Thor's voice uh, that we heard in the trailer. Uh, Thor is being played by Ryan Hurst, um, which you might know him from uh, Sons of Anarchy. He played Opie, one of my favorite characters ever. Um, and we're just delighted to have him come play in the God of War sandbox. And uh, his take on Thor, and our take visually on Thor, are very different than the, the hunky Australian you might know. You know he's much closer to the uh, Norse mythology version. You know, he's this big, burly, almost hedonistic man-child, red hair, you know, left-handed, just just a little off kilter than the Thor that a lot of people know right now. So I can't wait for people to experience more of that when the game's done. We also heard the name Odin in tonight's trailer. So I imagine if we're going to experience Ragnarok, Odin's going to have to play a pretty big role here, right? Definitely. I mean, Odin is the all-father of all the realms, so he's going to show up when Ragnarok happens. Um, we are very, very happy to have uh, Mr. Richard Schiff come on to play Odin for us. Uh, you may know him as Toby from the West Wing. 
Um, this was one that we never thought was going to happen. It was like kind of a shot in the dark, and uh, he got back to us, and we walked. I'm looking at the, the blog post like, for. Uh, I've never done anything like this before. Let's do it. Spider-Man Two. And this is uh, uh, like, kind of rest is history. So I can't wait for people to experience Yo. it and see how he factors in. And it's a very different yeah. take again, much like Thor. Yeah, he's those. like a old man. He's just kind of busy with his own things and doing whatever he wants, and uh, he's and he doesn't live in a castle or anything like that. So it's it's a again a different take, kind of what we do. We just take what's known and curveball it a little bit and you know make it special we also saw a couple of new characters tonight so what can you tell us about them are you talking about the little squid oh no you're talking about tear tear the big guy yeah yeah he's the the north god of war um and uh kratos and trace have finally found him we, we talked a lot about him in 2018 so we were like well we might as well show him to the people and then the last character we saw at the trailer you know like with the little wink and smile from anger boda She's one of the last remaining giants, um, and her story is pretty amazing and how it fits into the world of God of War. Um, Tyr is being played by uh, Ben Prendergast, um, who's been completely absorbed in the role, even though he is not a giant as Tyr is. Um, and then uh, Angerboat is being played by uh, Leia De Leon Hayes, who's a complete treasure on set. She's been amazing. Watching her chemistry with the other characters has been amazing, and she's one of the last giants that's living. So we have those characters and a few more, and you know, there's a lot of different monsters you saw in there. And, it's been so many talented people at the studio building this trailer and putting it together. I just want to give a shout out to the team. I love you guys. You know, I wish you could be here doing this interview with me. I wish you were all behind me right now at the studio. Um, that would have been completely amazing. And, you know, lastly, to our fans, uh, we have a saying at the studio that we are fans of our fans. And I cannot wait to watch all the tweets, the messages, the reaction videos that you guys put out. And, and our, our team to be able to take that into heart and uh, just get excited, hyped, and then uh, use that to push us through to finish the game for you guys. So thank you very much. Now, Corey, we haven't heard a whole lot out of you here tonight. So now that we know you're not directing God of War Ragnarok, I was hoping maybe you could give us a little clue about what you may or may not be working on next. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You'd like me to just spill the beans and tell you everything that's going on right now. They always tell A bunch of stuff. It's really exciting. All, all the things, things that we're doing, and you're tempted to know what is this. But they always trying to get caught. Don't really have anything I can talk about right now, specifically, mostly because we're we're really focused on God of War Ragnarok. That I am incredibly excited that I finally understand that that's what everyone was saying. God of War Ragnarok. I was way off. I was thinking it was something else that they were talking about. I think we'll we'll wait to to get any deeper into anything else until later. We'll talk again soon. Thank All right. Well, thank you, Corey. Thank you, Corey. Thank you Eric. Eric. And next, next up, we have Ryan Treadwell. He's the lead producer at Aspire. And wouldn't you know, just a little while ago, we got the announcement of a remake for Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So, Ryan, I guess my question is, is this like a, a remaster of the original game or what's going on here? It's so much more, Sid. This is a complete remake of this beloved Star Wars story. The Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake, we are rebuilding from the ground up while maintaining that integrity of story and character from the original. So Ryan, what remake are we talking about here? I mean, is this updating some graphics, adding some, some higher resolution modes? You know, the original Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is a true classic and one of our favorite Star Wars stories ever. We want to honor that original story and make it as impactful for players today. In terms of the visuals, we have an opportunity to present this story with a much higher level of fidelity than was possible in the past, while making sure that we're being authentic to what players loved about that original game. So we know Aspire from bringing classic Star Wars games to modern consoles, uh, but this is a much bigger project than anything the studio's tackled before. So what can you tell me about the team behind the game? You're absolutely right. While Aspire has enjoyed a great relationship yeah. with Lucasfilm Games through our work bringing classic Star Wars games to new When I played a Lucasfilm thing, I was like, this project is on a I thought it was like a different level to anything we have done. Something, something else. That's I, why we knew yeah. we had to assemble the right I team to do this project justice. We put together a team full of industry veterans from fan favorite RPGs, even including the original Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. It has been a really rewarding experience to assemble such a talented team to bring back an epic game. Of course, we're also working closely with the amazing teams at PlayStation and Lucasfilm Games. Together, we couldn't be more excited about what we'll be able to show you in the future. All of us are, of course, huge Star Wars fans too. One of the nice parts about building a team to make a big Star Wars game is the ability to instantly bond with all the new people of your favorite aspects of Star Wars. 
We all have different Star Wars memorabilia behind us in every call, and it always sparks up a good conversation. All right, thanks, Ryan. I'm not alone in that. I got, I got my Star Wars poster over there. Thank you, Sid. It will be some time before we're ready to show more, but we're very excited about being able to reveal more in the future. All right, and that's it for our show. You can catch up on all the big news on PlayStation.blog and check out all the trailers from tonight's PlayStation Showcase on YouTube. Thanks for watching. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. That was all right. That was good. That's good. Ah I'm happy. Night to the fucking over public remake. Yo, you don't understand. As I have been clamoring for that. For Dragon Age Origins remake. For um what is it? Uh for well Dragon Guard. But those those other two, I don't think yeah, it's gonna probably be a stretch to get them to. But woo! Night for the over public remake. Yo. They could they could have left it at that and I'd have been fucking hell like happy at that but marvel marvel and insomniac oh my god best partnership ever best partnership ever i cannot wait for wolverine and spider-man 2 like i cannot fucking wait for that that dumb dumb new shit what's up lee you came in when did you wait would you when did you come in so then i'll, I'll let you know what you missed <laughs> you missed the whole thing. Yeah, I think you did miss the whole thing. If you're just coming in now, I think you did miss the whole thing. It wasn't, um, they had more third party stuff than I would have cared for. But of the, when they did show the first party stuff, that's, that's when the W's was ringing left and right, left and right, left and right, left and right. Because that's what matters is our exclusives, our exclusive stuff. Like this! Oh, I can't wait! And March 4th for this, awesome. Yes, we're getting the fucking, ah, Thieves Collection. Okay, that sounds, that's, I'm with that. I'm with it. I'm with it. Like, I don't think, I don't know, please take this, this channel is new. I just, I have to watch it again. I have, I have to see it one more time. I just can't. Like this, this, right fucking here, man. Ah! Oh! Oh, any. Uh, I love Maul. That's all, that's all I care about. I just want to play Maul again. Let us switch between the two, and I'll be happy. For as long as I can remember. When I saw I Greenwich Street, I'm like, that's New York. That's New York. That's home. One who could surprise me. Oh. Yeah. Yet all I found is disappointment. Will one of you finally give me what I desire? <laughs> yes. Oh, you hear him? Do you hear him? Oh, I'm hyped. I'm so hyped. You don't understand. Like, giving me, giving me both of them together by themselves, that's crazy. But giving me fucking Venom with them too, fuck it. That's like, that's it. That's going to end up being my game of the year when that comes out. That's, that's it. That's gonna be my game of the year. Lee, do you see that shit? We got Peter Miles and Venom. And, like, the, like with the whole like the with the ending at the for for Marvel for the first Marvel Spider Man, yo like because I, I I think Harry's supposed to be coming back. But my thing is is Harry is Harry Venom? I mean, considering like what they showed at the end of that, that's what makes me curious if that's the case. But ah uh, ah, uh, and then and then this. I lost my fucking shit over this. And this, this, this PlayStation that's got doing this? Yo, like, come on now. Come on. Yo. Peace is alive. Them two announcements by themselves. Mm. That 
us with the Sith leave. Mm. They promised power. Now they wield it. Mm. We face the greatest Sith in generations. Mm. They must be stopped. Guys, are we fucking all in public? I'm so hyped for that shit! You don't understand. Oh, you don't understand. Like, I got tears in my eyes. I'm so fucking happy to see that. I'm so fucking happy to see that. You have no idea. To me, that's the biggest trailer to come out of this. Like, everything else is great. Everything else is great. This was the biggest fucking announcement to come out of it. I don't give a fuck. This shit right here. This shit right here. Nice and old Republic remake. Like, if they make it even remotely as great as that original was, that's it. That's, that's it. That's all they have to do is keep the integrity of those first two games, with KOTOR 1 and 2. Just keep, the, keep the integrity of those two games. Give us, like, expand the dialogue choices kind of stuff. Give us modern gameplay. Like, if they give us the gameplay of... If they give us the gameplay of Jedi Fallen Order, but better, with the crazy good storytelling that Bioware had with KOTOR. Like, that right there, that's a love child of magnificence right there. Like, I, I cannot tell you enough how happy that announcement made me. I cannot tell you. I cannot wait. I really cannot. Like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Project Eve, that looks cool. This shit look cool as hell. It looked like something that Platinum Games made, though. Like, I'm like, where the fuck did this come from? It looks like, but it looks like something out of Platinum Games. Like, whew. That shit. Mm. Forspoken still looks hot. I can't wait to see, like, just get, like, a date on that one. Grand Theft Auto is pissing me off. Uh, mm. I still don't care about Ghostwire. Alan Wake I'm excited about, and that's coming out next month. Uh, the Marvel's Guardians, like, again, another Marvel's property they should have just gave to Insomniac, because Insomniac knows how to make banger Marvel products. Like, that's just, that's just definitive. The gameplay does not look fun for Guardians of the Galaxy. It just doesn't. It really doesn't. And um, on a blood hunt, I have no interest in that. Something multiplayer, I don't care. Death, death loop. This shit needs to come out so we can stop hearing about it. I'm so sick of this fucking game. I don't know what the hell this shit was. It was trippy as hell. This looks cute. I'm never gonna touch it, but it looks cute. Uncharted. <laughs> Uncharted. Yeah. The biggest pirate treasure of all time is within our grasp. Ah! Now that's not an easy buy. Yo. Once I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. I'm so torn. Because I, I want to play Lost Legacy, but now I don't want to play it until this version comes out. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait for that. I cannot wait to play that shit on PlayStation 5. I can't. And Gran Turismo looks mm, magnificent. That shit looks magnificently beautiful. Like, where's the Wolverine trailer, though? Is the Wolverine trailer still on here? I didn't see that one. They have Alan Wake twice on here. I think that's. I think somebody made a made a boo boo there. But I want to see the. I'm gonna find that Wolverine one again. That shit looks a dope. I don't think it's. I don't think it's on here. All right, I gotta. I gotta search for it. But I was not the Wolverine one. That like, I was not expecting that at all. I didn't know anybody was even thinking about making a Wolverine game. So that, in of itself, 
was a beautiful fucking surprise. And to give it to Insomniac, oh, yeah, forget about it. Forget about it. That's going to be another Game of the Year contender right there. That's going to be another goddamn Game of the Year contender. Like, what else can you say? I originally thought that this was going to be, like, I thought it was going to be Punisher at first. Yes, Wolverine. I thought it was going to be Punisher at first, and then I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> he just kicked all the ass. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> they can just show me that animation in like in loop, and I'm gonna just keep screaming over it because yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I remember the the Wolverine game that was a spinoff of the terrible film. Like even though the film itself was horrible, that Wolverine uh, Origins game was awesome. Like the gameplay for that shit was like addicting to play so i like i don't know what they gonna do with theirs but you already know insomniac are fantastic at making spectacular gameplay for their games like they're getting the gameplay in their games is addicting for forever so it's like this is gonna be crazy i can only imagine it's gonna be crazy and my but my hope is that my hope because Insomniac is more or less a PG-13 studio when it comes to, like, you know, violence or whatever. They This needs to be a rated M for Mature game. So they really, like, I they have to, to step it up. It's Wolverine. He's slicing people to pieces. Like, you can't, you can't have a PG-13 Wolverine. That's dumb. We already saw how that worked out. That's dumb. It has to be rated. It has to have some kind of R-rated type content. It's like making a fucking Deadpool game that's PG-13 PG in, in scope. It's just, it makes no sense. So, I really hope that it's an M for Mature Wolverine game. I really freaking hope. Exactly. You can't have Wolverine without violence. That makes no sense. That makes zero sense. So, it's like, ugh. But, ugh. Ugh. Like, they could pull that off with of Spider-Man because Spider-Man has always been, like, like kid-friendly, family-friendly, or whatever have you. Wolverine, he's family friendly for like, not even like not even. He's really not like when you when you, like if you really read the Wolverine comic books, his content is not family friendly at all. So and him at his best is not family friendly. So I'm like they they gonna have to maneuver that, but otherwise I think they are gonna nail that with no problem. I don't see them messing up on that at all. But wow, poof! That was pretty. That was that was a pretty damn good showcase. Like mostly towards the end, the stuff in the middle. Like it, it had a great start, a very mediocre beginning, excellent end. So they did. That's this. That's not. I'll give it like a B. I'll give it like a B B plus. It was a B B plus showcase. Because they, they gave me some announce, announcements I was not expecting. And some ones that I was just very happy to see. Even ones that I was kind of expecting, very happy to see. Like, I can, like, a good 85% of the games that they showed, I was happy to see. So, it was crazy. <laughs> well, Lee, you, you should definitely look back and see how I reacted when I first saw the, um... <laughs> the the uh the uh announcement for Knights of the Republic. I like like Beth said, I jumped. I jumped in this goddamn bed. <laughs> like I can't. I like you understand. That's the biggest to me, that's the biggest announcement to come out of this. Like that's the one I'm the most like shaking over. I cannot fucking wait for that game. I cannot. I can't wait for them to show whatever they're going to show of it. 
part of me hopes that they, I really, 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 really hope that they do what they, what they do with the gameplay. Because to me, that's the only thing that doesn't hold up with Knights of the Old Republic games are the gameplay. So if the gameplay can be, like if they, if they can do what Square Enix did to Final Fantasy VII Remake and their gameplay revamp, if they can pull that kind of success off, forget about it. Forget about it. That's the, like that's that's gonna end up unless anything from any unless anything from Naughty Dog comes out, that'll end up being my game of the year. <laughs> like the only thing that could ever not be game of the year for me. Like like that 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 shit is crazy. Like that shit is crazy. That shit was crazy. They could they couldn't have made me happier in that moment. They could not. Like ah, I still feel it. I still feel it. Looking at it, I can't. The only thing I am disappointed about was I didn't get. It still ain't get no fucking information about it, about a fucking PS5 upgrade for um for Last of Us Part Two. That's all I want. I am I am ecstatic about Uncharted because that's something that I really wanted as well. But I really, really, mostly want that for the Last of Us Part Two. I just want to I want to play with the adaptive triggers in that game. Like I want that. I want that so badly, but I will. I will be patient, and I will be. I will wait. I will see what they do about that. But I can't wait. I cannot wait for that Uncharted remastered. But I, I really am on the fence, though. Now, now I was planning on playing um, Lost Legacy when I was finished with Mass Effect Three, but now. <laughs> now that it's getting a PS Five upgrade, I'm like, do I wait? Do do I wait? Uh, and look at my boy Venom. <clears throat> oh yeah, I got um. What is it? I I I I pre-ordered uh Life is Strange myself. So. I cannot wait to play that tonight. Like, um, they was throwing me off though because they were what? Hold up. Wait, is it, this is playable right now? Oh shit! Wait a minute! <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> Hold up! I'm wait- Hold up! Wait, it dropped? I thought it came out tomorrow! Oh shit! Oh, we know what I'm about to play. When this, yo, when I drop off this, we already know what I'm about to play. I didn't know this drop. Like, oh shit. Bitch, what? Oh no. Oh, I know about what I'm about to do. I know what I'm about to do. <laughs> well, well, Lee, you live in, um, you live across the pond. So that makes sense that it would be open for you. Like, you guys always get it. Like before we do, in America. No, no, I'm not playing it on stream, Beth. I'm not playing it on stream. This is a game because this is a game I'm recording to upload to my channel. So I'm not gonna um, I when I do a second playthrough, because I already know I'm probably gonna do one. When I do a second playthrough, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna stream that. But oh wow, I did not know that. But then it, it unlocks. Wow, five hours ago? Shit! What about all this time? I could, you know what though? It's fine because if I would have been playing this, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I probably would have forgot about the showcase and would have been so wrapped up in this and would have missed it. So you know what? It's you know shit happens, and I still got. I still don't have to be going to bed for like another six hours anyway. So I know what I'm gonna be doing with my time now. Cause I was, I hear, I thought I was gonna have to wait until midnight 
play maybe for like an hour and then wait until next week to play it because it's still i thought because it hold up because the thing has said it, it came out on the 10th on friday so that's weird to me i mean technically it's friday for you guys right now over there across the pond It's Friday for you guys? I'm bad with time zones. Yes, UK people are the best. Trust me. You have no idea how, how upset I wake up sometimes where I'm like, why did I not wake up British? <laughs> why was I not born British? I don't know what that means. Beth. Translate that to, you know, human time. Not military time. Human time, please. Oh, I'm so high. now. Now I'm excited. I can't. Yeah. Beh behind that and playing this, oh, I'm happy. <laughs> and I mean, oh, so it's only ten over there for you guys. That's weird. Oh, usually I don't look at the trophy list too much for these games until um. Until after I'm done playing it, because I don't want spoilers. But like, I'll probably uh, if the if the platinum is reasonable for this, I'll probably go for platinum for this. <laughs> See, but that's so weird. Because usually Square, like, you want to know what it is? You want to know why it got me though? Because Square Enix did this before. They did this with um with Near Automata, not Near Automata, Near Replicant. They did it with Near Replicant and what was the other game that they had come out recently? Something no, it was something no Square Enix related that came out recently. But it said it had like the the, the clock had said that it was gonna come out at like that it was gonna open at like 10 p.m. that day. But then as soon as that clock would go out, it would start over again, and then it would it wouldn't unlock until the time that was was originally said, which was midnight of whatever day. So that's why when I saw the clock for Life is Strange True Colors, I thought it was that same shit where I like where I'm like, why have they still not fixed this glitch? But whatever. So I paid it. I paid it no mind. I was gonna continue watching Grey's Anatomy, but uh, Grey's Anatomy can kick can kick a rock right now because that's this is happening. This is happening. I'm gonna continue editing my Mass Effect shit and then Outriders. Yes, that's what it is. It was Outriders. That was another one where they had the, the clock wasn't matched up. But yeah. Oh, I can't wait to play this. Like, you guys seen the reviews for this game? It's been... I'm so happy with what I'm hearing about it. I'm so very happy about it. And she... Look, look she's adorable. Look at that little messed up headphones. I used to have head, headphones like that. Not wireless, because I'm not, you know... I don't, I'm not made of money, but... The headset is what's up. <laughs> I can't wait to play this game. And I I had pre-ordered it early this morning, like around 3 a.m., 4 a.m. So, worked out. And then what's, what's the game that's dropping? I have to try, I want to try to see, try to finish this before, um, what's the other one coming? <laughs> Aside from you, Forbidden Way. Aside from you. What's the other one? Uh, Kenna. Before Kenna. I still need to pre-order Kenna, but that's gonna wait. That's gonna be, um, closer to when their release date hits. They still haven't said that this game has gone gold. I don't think. I, I haven't, at least I haven't seen any announcement about it. I can't wait for this game, though. Like, this, True Colors, and Death Stranding Director's Cut are the ones that I'm most excited to see. Well, I'm most excited to play this month. And I'm probably going to... I can already tell with Death Stranding, I'm probably going to be on that for going into... Um, 2022, probably. Only because that's a game that's going to take time. That's going to take a lot of time. I know, I love, I love the UI for the PlayStation 5. It's so fucking... It's so seamless. And, like, because I'm in the beta program, like, look, I can, I have the new, cho like, trophy set up, 
So yeah, like I had I had Platinum Origins yesterday. This is not what it looks like on the regular PlayStation 5. I don't know if y'all have seen it, but the, like on the regular PlayStation 5, it it doesn't look like this. It doesn't look this properly set up. It doesn't have the information like this. Like they they nailed it with this update, and I can't wait for everybody else to get it because it like it it's it's phenomenal. I freaking love it. That by itself, like that's been make that's what's been motivating me to, to do more trophy hunting lately. I just like I just got my 14th um, platinum yesterday, which it feels so weird to say that. Going from a person who's never even remotely looked at trophies to now I'm up to trophy number 14. It's kind of it's kind of crazy to me. It's an interesting evolution. I was looking at the stuff for Valhalla, cause I mean I already did it. I already did it for Origin and Odyssey. I don't know how far. Like I'm pretty like yeah. How many do I have for Valhalla? I got 31 right now. 20. I only have 20 left to get for. I don't know. I might look into this. I mean, why not? I mean, if like Lee, if you liked um, Assassin's Creed Origins, if you liked Odyssey, then you'll probably like Valhalla. I hated Valhalla. I hated this game. But then again, I also hated Origins, and I I have mixed feelings when it comes to Odyssey. My thing with Odyssey is I love I love the setting. I love Cassandra. She's one of my favorite characters of all time. And I liked some of the other side characters that they had, but other than that, the story was terrible. The fucking mechanics are terrible. Like it's I, I can't. But that's for me. Um Origins, I just the, the like playing Origins again, I'm like I'm reminded why I couldn't I couldn't with the gameplay. I couldn't with the gameplay on that one. Oh yeah, Hitman 3. This game is hysterical. This game is fucking hilarious. Like if you just want to kill people in like really fun ways, but not like insane, like what is the word? Like not like insane in Grand Theft Auto type way, then Hitman Hitman 3 is the game to play. I know Hitman was really freaking good. I have to I have to finish this. I got up to like the third major level in the story campaign. I think. No, I got up to the fourth. I got to the fourth level. But I had gotten it back when it first launched, so they were having a lot of online issues. And like every all my progress wasn't being properly saved, so I had stopped playing it. And then I kind of forgot about it after that. Him and 3 is great. It's a great game. I freaking love this game. It's hysterical to play. I love doing... Like, my favorite pastime is throwing pots at people. Like, when they walk past me. Just like, here they come walking and just... Pop! <laughs> like, it's just... The dumbest shit ever. But it's fun. And I, I love it. I love doing it. Of course I wish I had been born British. Y'all are awesome. And y'all snarkiness is just golden. I love British people. Love me some Brits. I'm a, like, if, if the heavens speak to me, if they speak to me one day, the person I'll have in my arm next will be a Brit. I'm with it. <laughs> Look, it's partially the accents, but mostly it's the snarkiness. I love the fucking snarkiness. Like, the, the, the snarkiness, the deadpan humor, y'all are fucking hilarious. <laughs> Shut up, Lee. <laughs> oh, Beth, you should check out. Um, cause Lee has a has a has a channel too. He has a he has a YouTube channel and a Twitch channel. Like he's 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 a funny dude to watch play games. He's very entertaining to watch play games. I know. I still need to come visit you. Well, we still, we, I'm still waiting to see what's happening with the whole lockdown situation. When that is like, you know, cleared up, then, you know, I got you. I got you. Cause that's a dream. That's a dream. That's been on my 
bucket list for forever. That, Japan. I want to say Australia, but the spiders are too big. I can't do that. No, can't do it. Mm -mm. Can't do it. So that's that. We crossed that one off the list. <laughs> yes, it does get a lot of compliments. And here's a cat. This is my oldest, Layla. I'm surprised it took her this long to come and say hello. Well, no, I mean, like, the borders. I don't know, like... Here in America, our board, like the the borders for us, as far as going overseas, is still not like completely clear on how the hell that's working out. New Zealand, I've heard great things about New Zealand. I'd love to go there too. I want to go to Ireland as well, because there, there was another bunch of crazy people that look fun as hell. They 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 look like they people that you could have a good time with. Hello, Layla. Stop yelling at me. I will not have you abuse me on stream. She verbally, she verbally abuses me. Consistently. I had taken a break from Mass Effect this week. I need to, I'm going to jump back into that next week, though. I want to try to beat Mass Effect 2 before, I mean, Mass Effect 3 before, um, Kenna. And Death Stranding come out. Hello, boo boo. Get out of here. Oh, shit, yes. Let's go to Ireland together. I'm with it. I'm with it. See, I don't know. Like, you, y'all tell me what's the best part of Ireland to go visit. Like, you know, the non racist part, whichever that one is. I'll go there. Yes, Layla. You're not coming with me, though. Hello, kitten. The kitten is awake from her nap now. Layla, can you get out of my arm, please? Oh, there's the kitten. These are the girls. Hello. Ugh. She's not little Ellie anymore. Look how big she is. She's a big girl now. She's so big now. It's crazy. I don't know. Y'all would know better about that kind of stuff than me. I've never been overseas, not once, ever. So I'm not sure. Y'all would know better than I do. Hello, Layla. So is Northern Ireland the the better pick there? Um, yeah. Layla, can you please personal space? Thank you. But I can't. Ugh. I'm still coming off my high. Coming off my high of goodness, of good feeling, good feeling. But I'ma cut this. So that I can place as much of true colors as I can because I have to go back to work tomorrow. And we got a lot of shit going on right now. I have to do a lot of training. But there's extra money in my pocket, so I'm trying to make good with that. Hello, Liam. But thank you, my two wonderful Brits, for joining me. And everyone in between who came through. Really appreciate it. I'm going to also post this on my youtube channel later thank you for coming lee you the awesomeness you awesomeness it's always good to have you in the chat man but oh hello liam all right oh the, the cats are staring me down which means they want stuff love you both love you both beth love you both lee you guys are awesome brits number one brits that i know of y'all and matt I fucking love Matt. He's hysterical. <laughs> but this is my folks. To the next time.